Hello there, and a very, very good evening. My name's Sean Ryan. You are, of course, watching the Planet Cruise TV show. I always look forward to our Tuesday evenings because for the last eight years or so, we've been bringing you exclusive deals, amazing prices. Tonight, we've got six cruises. We've also got a very special guest. Ruth is back from Celebrity. And I can also say I think it's the best Celebrity cruise we've had in terms of price for many, many months, if not years. It's an amazing deal, so stay tuned. But I'm also joined by a great friend of mine, I like him more and more each week. The lovely just I do, actually. <laughs> I do. <laughs> I'll take it as a compliment. Take it as a compliment, just for It's good to be back. Again. I know. Is it, is it just a week? I know. I know. There you go. We had okay. a brilliant show last week, though, didn't we? To, to be fair, actually, uh, for those of you that missed out on the, the Thompson takeover, we have actually got a Thompson deal later on, we which have. is also v selling very, very fast. Um, so, uh, you know, the, the uh, call centre is open till 11 o'clock tonight. Any of the cruises that you like the look of, uh, please give the call, uh, guys a, a call and see what we can do. We've, we've also got two fantastic upgrades coming up later on. We have. And look, so, it, it's um, a really good show. So yeah. Ruth's going to be joining us from Celebrity. Best price I've seen in a long, long time. Amazing deal. Uh, we've got Princess. We've got um, an all-inclusive with Norwegian Cruise Lines, of course. Yeah, well, Norwegian Cruise Line has got all-inclusive yeah. now with all their cruises. And in fact, on that cruise, um, you also get $500 up uh, on board spend as well. But only um, if you book. book Yes, it does end tomorrow. Yes. So it's only the, a seven day sale up to the end of the month. Um, so, uh, yeah, defi definitely one to stay tuned for. And one of the biggest ships in the world, the Oasis of the Seas. Yes, up. not quite the biggest, but uh, nearly oh, the biggest. She's, yeah. <laughs> she's nearly there, isn't she? And, and for those of you that don't know Justin, just very quickly, Justin is a great guy. He's travelled the world and worked on the cruise ship. So He's done the job for me. Yeah, I saw it, yes. <laughs> yeah. That was my introduction, Justin. You're supposed yeah, to just nod. No, yeah. no six, six years at sea. So, uh, yeah. yeah, I've been there, done that, bought the T-shirt, and I keep it at home in the, in the wardrobe. Yeah. And I iron it every now and again <laughs> and, and bring it out when I'm very lonely. <laughs> well, you love to, doing no, the show, don't you? To, to be and fair, if, if you've never gone cruising, it's, it's yeah. a great way oh, to see the world. The amount of people that say to me still, you know, oh, I'm thinking about a cruise. I'm like, you've got to do yeah. it, you know, because the, the service is second to none. Food is amazing. Well, here's, here's a question. If, if you say, oh, I'm not too sure whether I want to be stuck on the ship. I bet half of you have been on holiday and all you've been doing is sitting around one pool exactly. and one bar and going to a restaurant and maybe walk down to the beach. Yeah. And this, this gives you the opportunity to travel different countries, to see different places. I mean, even tonight we've got a, a cruise that goes so you can go and see the Taj Mahal. But anyway, we must yeah. crack on. We've got lots to, cra uh, lots to cram in. Anyway, we are going to start off with a lovely seven-night cruise with P&O, starting at just six, eight, nine. And uh, here's our, our lovely Keith Maynard on board to tell you more. At just 77,000 tonnes, P&O Cruises Oceana may not be the biggest in the fleet, but she certainly packs a mighty punch. Fresh from her recent refitting, she was extensively and expensively refurbished and looks absolutely beautiful. Oh, you know, as a proud Englishman, the centre of my universe has always been my local pub. And on P&O, you really won't go wrong by visiting this beautiful yacht and compass nautically themed pub, which serves up a healthy selection of Britain's best. On top of that, you can really live the high life on this ship with the bubbles of the Magnum Champagne Bar or dancing into the wee hours in the chic Le Club. Whether you choose the more traditional fixed dining of the Adriatic or the freedom dining of the Ligarian, both restaurants serve up consistently delicious food from an ever smiling army of knowledgeable waiters. For those who prefer their dining al fresco, then why not try a super tender steak at the Horizon Grill on deck 14? You guarantee great taste and even better views. Or pop along and let Marco Pierre White dazzle your taste buds at Café Jardin. Friendly and interactive, as well as diverse, Oceana offers many entertainment options, from the high-rolling fun of the Monte Carlo Club to the cabaret and comedy of Starlights. You can pop along to the atrium for a classical recital or head here for a pint and watch your favourite team in the winner's sports bar. And then, after a great meal, go to the Footlights Theatre, where you'll be hard-pressed to believe that you're not actually sitting in the West End. Stylish and inviting, Oceana's cabins come in all shapes and sizes, from spacious and fully equipped suites like this, offering a host of extra special touches to mini suites, balcony cabins, and standard inside or outside cabins. But all come with a host of mod cons and a daily steward service, plus the all-important tea and coffee making facilities. Because if you're like me, 
you can't even face the rest of the world without at least one cup of coffee. Wow, that's like, it's a lovely ship. Yeah, yeah, and, and you know, happy memories for me because it was one of the first P&O ships that I actually sailed on. So cabin four three three two has got many happy memories. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, you're not going to be staying. You're okay. not going to be staying in that one because that's a crew. That's a crew cabin. But so to for, be you fair, and, for you and many others, just to, yeah. <laughs> um, now, to, to be fair, the, the actual ship itself, great facilities. She's had a refurb as well. She's uh, now all brand new, branded for P&O with a blue funnel. In fact, there she is. Yeah, there she is. Beautiful. She is fan- yeah. So, uh, and a great itinerary. Well, yes, this starts off with a flight from London Gatwick, and we're making our way over to Malta, aren't we? Yeah, in fact, actually, this is the only uh, cruise that's available on Planet Cruises' website currently um, that sails from Malta. So, uh, if if, if you want that unique feature, then uh, please do pick up the uh, the phone. Uh, Now, you start off with a nice relaxing day at sea to make the most of the the facilities on board the ship, and then we're off to Croatia. Uh, And this is a, a great opportunity split. Now, uh, this is a beautiful, beautiful place. You've, you've got some great things to go and see and do here. You've got Diocletian's uh, Palace as well, um, which is uh, part and parcel of the Game of Thrones series. So uh, if you want to go and see where it's been shot, then you can go and see that. You've also got the fantastic cathedral uh, and the Temple of Jupiter as well. So uh, plenty to see and do there. Uh, historically. Then we go to the Bride of the Adriatic, we go to Venice, which you've got to get up early and stay up late for the sailing and sail out because it is one to well, literally tick off the list. Uh, you've got the Grand Canal there, you've got St. Mark's uh, Square, uh, the Rialto Bridge as well, which you've got to pop down and see and do, uh, and the bridge is size. And you've got to go on a gondola. It's Venice. Just one gondola. Anyway, uh, then we're off to uh, Ravenna. Um, this is actually a new one on me, um, but uh, you've got a couple of UNESCO World Heritage List sites uh, here, and a couple of the, uh, the mausoleums actually have mosaics that date back to the, uh, the Roman times. Uh, so if you do want to go and see and do, plenty there um, uh, in Ravenna. Then we're off to Dubrovnik. Now, back to Croatia. This is a stunning walled city. Um, no uh, traffic inside of the actual city itself, so you get dropped off by the, uh, the shuttle bus uh, and then have a wander around. You can walk the wall. All I would actually recommend is make sure you take some water because uh, it does tend to get quite hot, but it's lovely. And in fact, the, the main square itself, these beautiful, beautiful uh, streets, lovely little cafes on either side and quite unique shops. There's... Um, uh, a lovely candle shop um, there. They do some some really weird and wonderful candles. So if you want to, if you like to bring presents back, then that's going to be perfect. Uh, rounds off with a nice relaxing day at sea, and then back into Malta to end your cruise. And uh, on board this beautiful ship, don't forget as well. Six eight nine is that lead price. Um, and you know, when we think about P and O, that they've been now in the industry years, haven't they? Yeah, and, and to be fair, you know, they, they really do cater for the, for the British market. Yeah, you know, they've they got do. great shows on board, great restaurants, and they follow the trend. You know, they have got free time uh, dining now on board Oceana. They've got the, um, uh, a couple of uh, specialty restaurants where supplements do apply. Uh, but just a great ship, and the staff on board, again, P&O do retain their staff, and they've been there for years. Um, I've actually seen some staff when we've been back down to Britannia that had already been at sea for 10 or 15 years yeah. when I left. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, there's that great family feel. Well, um, just in terms of what's included, well, first of all, I'm really worth doing an upgrade tonight because you can actually upgrade to an outside cabin from under eight, uh, 15 actually pounds per person per night. So really worth doing that. That's based on the lead date. Return flights based on London Gatwick, but we have got flights available from Manchester, Birmingham, Newcastle, and some other airports from just 99 pounds per person supplement. Just ask our call centre about those, uh, so those different airports that are available. And the prices, they start at uh, just 689, for the 12th of October. They've actually got some really great prices right the way through July, August and September. We have had a few sellouts there uh, on the July dates and uh, actually the balcony prices and the single prices really good on those as well. But we are uh, joined now by a real favourite on the sofa. Ruth from Celebrity is back. Nice to see you. Can you Lovely. Of course you can. Mm. Lovely to see you. Oh. My goodness. <laughs> I am lucky tonight, aren't I? I'm going to no, make we, the we, most of that. We're lucky to have you back. We oh, are. bless you. Well, well, actually, I've been Planet Cruised all day today because we had a, a really great Planet Cruise event in St Albans, all about Alaska. I promised to say hello to everybody who joined us, including the ladies from the Red Hat Society. Whole other story. We'll talk about that later. <laughs> but we had a wonderful day, and it's great to be back with an exclusive deal for you tonight. Well, Ruth, let's get so You've given mm-hmm. us exclusive prices. Yes. Um, 
This is actually, I think it's the lowest price celebrity cruise for this length of time we've had in a long mm -hmm. time. It's nearly two weeks and it's under £900, which yes. is incredible, with some great upgrades. And what's really interesting tonight, Ruth, mm -hmm. you've got flights from Gatwick, Heathrow, Manchester, Birmingham or Glasgow. Correct. All including the price. No supplement to fly regionally. Uh, Ruth, I know you like to use some of the best airlines I in do. the world. Who are we flying with? Emirates. One of the best airlines in the I, world. I love Emirates. They are the wonderful and, service and on board. To, to be fair, the actual itinerary is quite unique. Yeah. This, this, is, this yeah. is ports that I never got a chance to travel to mm. and you don't see regularly. And this is your opportunity to travel one of the greatest landmarks in the world, which is the Taj Mahal. Yes. Um, and if you think, and this all sounds really good, it gets even better. The ship that you're going to be sailing on is just coming out of dry dock. Is that right? She came out of dry dock at the weekend. She's got some oh. new features, which we'll talk about in a little while. While. It's, a really... it's an incredible excited. holiday. Yeah. I'd pick up the phone though because there are limited cabins available at this price, so you've got yes. to be quick. There's not a huge amount at 899. There um, isn't. But many of you regulars will know I have cruised with Celebrity, I think it's seven times. Something it like yeah. that. Yeah. Eight, it will be eight after October. Oh, yeah. Again. So, I'm so lucky, I know. It's almost more than me. There's something <laughs> wrong with that, isn't there? <laughs> the, the top bosses are watching tonight, sure. <laughs> yeah. But, um, Let's uh, just talk about celebrity and, and actually just give you a little taster yes. of the five-star modern luxury. Well, we've got four pillars at Celebrity that we really do think set us apart from our competitors. Culinary, the most important thing. We know how much you love the dining oh. and the restaurants on board. So many options on board Celebrity Constellation. And, of course, there you can see Cellar Masters. And we do actually have the largest and rarest wine collection at sea. And you have beautiful wines. Beautiful we certainly wines. do. Very affordable too. Accommodation is another pillar. And of course, our staterooms and suites are so insightfully designed by a team of ladies. And of course, our staterooms include your new favourite, Aqua Class. Yeah, amazing. It's spoilt you forever, it, hasn't it? Really it really has, seriously. Yes. And then service. And it is those little touches that really do make a difference and our guests love. So whether it's been greeted as you step on board with a complimentary glass of champagne, being welcomed back on board with ice cold towels, chilled water, fresh mm. juice. It really is very, very special. And then, of course, destination. And destination is the reason everybody chooses a holiday. That's their first thing that's most important. So featuring lots of overnight double overnights and we've got overnight stays two of them actually on this very itinerary tonight mm. and, and i can also say having cruised let say seven times mm. um some of you that have cruised a lot you you kind of you know people can sometimes start nitpicking a bit and think oh you know mm. uh, Never a celebrity. Like every time, you know, I always say, We're oh, will, it, will it be as good add. as last time? Oh, exactly. Always yeah. being modern and yeah. new and thinking ahead. We don't want to stay number one. And we want to continue to grow and become and better and better. And I really better. noticed that with your entertainment last time. So many yes, brand new, exciting 18 shows. new shows in yeah. 18 months across the fleet. So some fantastic yeah. new entertainment as well. You will not be disappointed. All the, the viewers I met on the last celebrity cruise, mm -hmm. I was, I'm so glad I did it, Sean. So glad I did it. Oh, know. it's lovely when you take the plunge and you think, Yes, I did the right thing. And tonight is definitely the night. But Justin, some amazing destinations on this one. Yes. Yeah, well, f first of all, you're actually flying over to Abu Dhabi, which in itself is an experience, yeah. especially with Emirates. Um, and, uh, and this is where you start off with three relaxing days at sea. Now, this is beautiful. Oh, I perfect. mean, to, to go back on a, a newly refurbished uh, ship um, mm -hmm. and to you know, experience all those new uh, um, uh, cuisine outlets you're talking about and it's we should, just going to be fantastic we should just say you do get an overnight on board in Abu Dhabi before we start uh, no you'll, you'll fly straight out oh will you okay yeah you'll sail straight away straight away and uh, your first port of call and let's just say it's a, it's a big port we're talking Goa um, now, this, uh, especially for, for uh, a lot of the cruise lines, there's uh, a big Indian community of uh, staff on board, so it will be a fantastic uh, opportunity for them to, to see their family. And it, it really does make the difference. But for you, going ashore and seeing the beaches, this is some of the best beaches in this mm. particular vicinity itself. Uh, and lots of great culture, lots of Portuguese influence here uh, as well, so you can go and see some of the cathedrals. But this is the biggie. We're going to Mumbai, Bombay, and this is where you have an overnight. Now, you can go to see the city, which is a clash, again, of, uh, of old versus new. You can see the new skylines that's emerging there, but you have got the old street culture. You've got the spice markets. You've got the tuk-tuks. You've got to go and experience it. You've got to go and see the Taj Mahal Palace. Uh, as well. Fantastic hotel. Um, there is so much to see and do, but 
if you want to make this a truly unique holiday, a once in a lifetime probably for most, mm. you can take an overland trip, which will take you off the ship for two days, to the Taj Mahal. It's got to be done, I hasn't it? To, to be I fair, was. you know, this this is, you know, if you've been to the pyramids, if you've been to see Ayers Rock, it's those, you know, big, big things that you need to tick off your list. You can go and see the Taj yeah, Mahal. I've yeah. loved it. And I think, I think that's that's got to be high up on there, especially, I mean, if you, if you, if you think of the images that have been taken there, yes. very iconic of Princess Diana. Yeah. Um, it's absolutely stunning. So you can do that. Uh, and bear in mind, if you do the overland trip, which is uh, in addition to this, um, then you, you come back the following day. So that overnight, you're coming mm -hmm. back the next day and joining back onto the ship uh, and, and heading for two relaxing days at sea. Then we're off to Muscat and we're going to the Armani capital. And this, again, a fantastic immersion of culture. There's some fantastic things to see and do. Go and see the Grand Mosque. This has actually got one of the largest carpets in the world. Sounds wow. a bit of a strange thing, but um, the largest carpet is actually coming up later. <laughs> Just as I test the carpet. Clearly. Um, there's actually some great beaches here, and uh, uh, to be fair, some of the tours that you can do, you can go out in some of the traditional fisherman boats, um, mm. which for me, I I'd absolutely love it. And again, the, the, the weather, you can just imagine, is going to be stunning. Um, there's also some of the marchers as well, uh, which is the, the local supermarkets. Uh, so if you want to go and s pick up some of the, uh, the little handicrafts. They uh, are fascinating, those, yeah. those souks, go, aren't they? Have a barter. I know we're not very good at it in the UK, but <laughs> it's all part and parcel uh, of the experience. Uh, then we're finishing off uh, with Dubai. And this, well, let's just face it, look at this skyline. Uh, you've got the Burj Khalifa, 825 metres high. You've got the Burj Al, Al Arab as well, easy for me to say. Uh, Palm <laughs> Island. Um, you could head out for a, a desert safari as mm -hmm. well. There's so much to see and do, but if you love shopping, uh, leave the credit card at home because there is the Dubai <laughs> Mall. And I'm telling you now, they've actually got a vending machine where you can buy gold. Oh yep. my goodness. No. A vending machine that you can buy gold. Are you serious? Just when you thought things can get any better. Uh, also, if you want to see some of the cultural side, we said about the, uh, the, the largest uh, car um, carpet in the world, uh, and that is actually at the Grand Mosque itself. So, uh, And you've got two days here with an sure overnight yeah. stay, yeah, overnight. which is wonderful to see Dubai at night. I was going to say, I, I never got a chance to, to do a lot of overnights, and sometimes when you're yes. on a cruise ship, it's in port up until about 5 or 6 o'clock at night, and then you mm -hmm. pull away. But here at night, just imagine this... Um, at night. It's just going to be stunning. It is sensational. And to see the fountains there, the dancing fountains are, are world famous. They're spectacular at night. And then back to uh, Abu Dhabi. That's right. Where you disembark and you're transferred back to the UK. Um, now, Ruth, you've, you, yes. you just mentioned that the, the constellation has just come out of dry dock. She did, this very weekend. So let's just have a look at some of the images. Yes, of well, a couple of years ago, she had a full makeover where we redid all of the staterooms and she had all of the, f the best features of Solstice class. So she does already have the martini ice bar. She has blue restaurant with aqua class. Tuscan Grill, some of the wonderful, wonderful features. But new, we've now added, again, one of your favourites, Cuisine Restaurant with the menu on the Apple iPads, the sushi lollipops. We know Keith loves those but as hang on. well. I like yes. the look of oh, this. That's this is the new yeah. rooftop <laughs> terrace. <laughs> I call it the oh lawn club word. without the grass. Mm. And it's absolutely oh. wonderful. So it's very relaxing. You can see there on the right oh, that back. we had we'll the cat back. cabanas. So yeah, we want to oh. go back. There you go. I be there. So we've got cabanas so you can really relax during the day. Uh, we've got a portable bar up there. But at night we do a taste of film. And when I, and when I saw it, it was a film called Chef. And actually, we actually had the film. food that they're showing that is in the movie. They served us at exactly the same moment to eat oh. while we're watching the film. Of course, you've got my favorite adults only solarium, crush and the martini ice bar. They're all wonderful features. I, was, I think you'll agree at home. If you're a maker, this is an amazing offer tonight. So let's just it recap is. what's included. Now, really worth upgrading to an ocean view because then you get the free classic drinks package and $300 on board spent. You worked out, Ruth, that if you do upgrade to the ocean view... It looks like it's a little bit of a jump in price, but the drinks package on this cruise would cost you almost £600 per yeah. person to buy it. You are and the on board spend. Yeah, yeah, you're away for 13 nights in total. Um, oh. So literally, you're almost upgrading for free and then to go to a balcony it's only a hundred pounds per person more um, 
great choice of airports and no yes. supplements on those. No supplements on the airports, but be quick before uh, they go. Yeah. And then Emirates as well. Emirates, Emirates right. Airlines. That's an yes. experience in itself. It is. I only discovered them a couple of years ago. And I love them now. They're, they're wonderful. Yep. Um, and you have nights on board. Um, and the opportunity is they differ slightly depending on departure dates. Talking of dates, you can either go for the 6th of December, but I like the idea of flying on New Year's Day. And yes, away. why not? Yeah. Enjoy New Year's Eve and then get up and go on holiday. And you can see there that once you're into Ocean View, the prices to upgrade to Balcony, Concierge or your favourite Aqua Class is really yeah. minimal. And you see the that. drinks package, if you upgrade to the Ocean View above, you will get this drinks package. It's an amazing drinks package, Ruth. It really is. All of your specialty teas and coffees, bottled water, juices and smoothies, but also selected beers, spirits, it's wines by the glass, lots of cocktails included. It is a truly superb premium brand drinks package. I, I do ask the, uh, the call centre about Aqua Class as well. I, I only went Aqua Class for the first time earlier on this year. Loved it. The best things about it, loads of things actually, but definitely Blue Restaurant and, of course, the Persian, the Persian Garden, Garden, which yes. is lovely for health and well-being. But Blue Restaurant, because they use it, do it for breakfast and dinner, is just superb. It was the first cruise that I actually managed not to put weight on, I think, because the, the food's so That's healthy right. and clean. Still really tasty. Oh, and, it's sumptuous. And, and five courses. Every night. Yeah, but I actually didn't put weight on, which was amazing. That is amazing. Ruth, we're, we're getting nagged to move on. Oh, we're, we're about we've got to go. Um, I think it's an amazing deal, so thank you so much. My pleasure, but it's exclusive, so be quick. And if you want the lead price, you've got to be ultra quick. Ultra quick. Ultra yeah. quick, it'll fly. Ruth, we'll see you soon. You will thank do. Thank you so much. Pleasure. That was like, good to see you. That was really good. I love the itinerary on that one as well. But um, if you were with us last week, we had the, uh, the Thompson Takeover show, and uh, it was, was one of our busiest shows ever. And we've got an amazing deal from Thompson tonight. So sit back and have a look at this. So just, just having a little taster here of Thompson. Um, yeah. So really popular always on the shows. Yeah, really popular and so popular, you know, as you, as you briefly mentioned, there was a lot of people that missed out last week. And this is why... Again, we've got an upgrade tonight that's that's only for, from £10 per person per night to all-inclusive. That's why these deals sell out fast. So please, if you do like Thompson deals, if you missed out last week, pick up the phone right now. We're open until 11 o'clock tonight. Um, we've also got single prices on this one as well. Remember, some of the Thompson cruises are adults only, so you can ask about that as well if you want to sell without the, uh, the kids. Uh, but great facilities. You've got all of your bars, your lounges. And one of the things that I think all of the passengers that come back from Thompson say is it's so friendly. You don't have that, and I don't like to say this, but you don't have that stuffy atmosphere that sometimes we're on a cruise ship and it's a bit too prim and proper. I'm, I, like, I'm, I'm, I'm terrible for it. I like the pomp and circumstance. I do like getting dressed up. But if you just want to go on a cruise, see the world, different port every day, and have great food and at a great price. I'm telling you now, £65 per person, per night, and that covers your food, your entertainment, and your accommodation. You try and do that anywhere else. Um, and you can uh, reserve yours tonight for £75 per person deposit. Yeah. And I'm going to say, just as I already mentioned it, but there'll be a limited amount of uh, availability on the, on the classic, uh, on the um, drinks package rather, starting off at £10 per person per night. Yeah, I, and, and again, this is why you do need to book early to avoid yeah, disappointment, that's... because if they do go, uh, I'm afraid, you know, it's what stocks last. Yes, so uh, £10 for their, uh, their drinks package, that's what it starts off at. Anyway, we're flying, uh, first of all, over to... Palmer, yeah, over to Palmer. This is your embarkation port, and uh, you've got a, a fantastic first day to look forward to. Barcelona. I absolutely love Barcelona. Yeah, I do. You've got the beach here. I didn't realise the Barcelona beaches. They were only actually put in for 1992 for the Olympics. There you go. You can see the hotel arts down in the background. You know, One I of the nicest. Either, yeah, it? see, you learn something new yeah. every day. Um, if you like football, then you've got the uh, the new camp. Um, sorry, I say that with such disdain. If you do like football, um, then you can go see the new camp. Um, but if you want a little bit of culture, go to Sagrada Familia. They still haven't finished it, but it is a beautiful site. Now, they're actually projecting, because um, Gaudi was the second architect of Sagrada Familia. The second, and he took over about 80 years into it. I've, 
Um, there's some lovely Gaudi architecture, by the way, at uh, some of the parks as well, and the National Museum. But you've got to go to La Ramblas. Beautiful place, some great tapas bars as well. And a great atmosphere, um, isn't it? Oh, it's lovely, yeah. it's lovely. Anyway, uh, we move on to Toulon. Uh, now, this um, this is the gateway to the Côte d'Azur. Um, if you think of Saint-Tropez, not too far away, by the way, if you do want to go, um, then you can do. But this, this has got the feel of Paris with the uptown markets and bars, but then it's got that lovely maritime feel as well. Uh, in fact, uh, this is uh, one of the biggest ports for France when it comes to uh, naval history. Uh, they've got the Charles de Gaulle, the aircraft carrier, actually parked there. Um, then we're going to be heading off to Livorno, and this is your port for Florence and Pisa. We're going to be featuring this uh, in a couple of cruises' time, so I'll tell you more about that later. Then we're off to Corsica. Is it France? Is it French even? Or is it Italian? They can't make up their mind. But that's the beautiful thing of Corsica, because it is this clash. Uh, this is also where Napoleon Bonaparte finishes days up, and um, it's just a beautiful, beautiful place. Um, all I would I'd recommend, if you want to do outdoor activities uh, and go on walking trips, this is the best place to do it, because the pine forests um, are just beautiful. The views are fantastic as well. Do you know, I've never um, been there. No, no. I've got to Corsica. I actually went back for a holiday. That's how good it was. That it was that good. Mm -hmm. Going in for a day, I went back for two weeks. Anyway, um, we head now into Sivashevekia, uh, and this is the port for Rome. Um, we will talk about that in a couple of cruises later. Then we're off to Italy, and this is uh, uh, Naples. Now, this is the birthplace of the pizza. It's also where coffee is strong. I'm talking damn strong. You're going to be up all night. I'm telling you now, if you, if you like your espressos, you haven't tasted anything. But this is also a big day that if you want to go out a little bit further afield, you can go to the Amalfi Coast, you can go and see the wonderful lemon groves there, you can go ac uh, across um, to Capri as well, which was the jet set place to be, um, or you can go to um, Pompeii as well, go to Mount Vesuvius if, if you want. Then we're off to the Straits of Messina. Now this is uh, a beautiful part of the country, this is actually Sicilian part of the country. And this is where, you know... You don't mess with the family. Um, that's the worst Marlon Brando impression that was ever. But this is where they filmed The Godfather. I too bad. So just imagine, I know, just go up in there and you can hear the theme tune playing. Um, yeah, sorry if I just scared you at home. Um, there's uh, some wonderful cathedrals actually in uh, Messina as well. And there's an astronomical clock. Um, so uh, if you don't know where to find it, basically find a massive, uh, massive square where there's loads of people stood around and then they all disappear because literally it hits, it hits the hour and then everybody's gone. It's like, oh, all of that for that. But it, you've got to do it, you've got to do it. Then we're off to Malta. Now, um, this is a beautiful, beautiful place. Um, if you like history, you can go to uh, the uh, Cathedral, uh, the Order of St. John. Um, and Valletta itself, the port, one of the best ports. Can I recommend have a lazy morning and have breakfast on the aft end? because I tell you what, looking out at this beautiful sandstone um, vista that uh, you're about to see is, um, look at that. It is a beautiful place, isn't it? It's, it's yeah. absolutely stunning. And it's also, there's some uh, good little shops just as you get off the, uh, the ship as well. Uh, now, you've got a nice relaxing day at sea just to mix things up. And then, look, what do you want to do? Ibiza, or Ibiza, um, what do you want to do there? Do you, do you want to go to, to Nikki Beach? Do you want to go down and enjoy some really cool Ibiza tunes, Cafe del Mar? Or do you want to go to the old town and experience um, uh, old Ibiza? You Very can do both, to be fair. Yeah. In fact, I've actually spotted that uh, beach in a couple of films, but uh, we won't go down there. Um, but I tell you, what, Ibiza itself is absolutely stunning. Uh, then we're off to Cartagena, uh, Spain. Uh, got lovely history here. Um, so if you do love your tapas, then say, save it for here. Um, and then um, we're back to Malaga to finish it all off. And that ends a wonderful I mean, cruise. That. Amazing journey, um, that. With Thompson. I mean, yeah, I mean, yeah. literally, you are doing the Mediterranean and some of the best ports. But again, just look at the price. £65 per person per night. An opportunity whilst availability. Um, you can book uh, a £10 upgrade to all inclusive. And it's just absolutely. that is really worth doing that. But do be quick because, uh, you know, limited availability on that. All your tips and service charges are always included with Thomas, of course, as well. Got a single price starting at 1299 and again, very limited availability on that. Return flights based on London Gatwick, but don't forget always with Thomson, there's a huge amount of UK airports available just for supplements, so give us a call for those. But that will go very, very quickly. We know uh, what a huge following Thomson always have on the show. And 
Someone that was on board just recently was our Keith Maynard with Avril and Billy there. Yeah. And unfortunately, it's... Billy didn't get the email about uh, the dress code, unfortunately. <laughs> um, so, but thanks for sending the, uh, the picture in. But we've actually got another one. Uh, this is Burton Rita, who also bumped into TV's Keith Maynard as well on the Tui Discovery. Yes, he was there doing a little bit of filming, I believe, that we'll uh, see soon Look forward on to the show. That. Yes, we will. He gets all the good jobs. We get to stay here in Peterborough. Not that there's anything wrong with Peterborough, but it's just nice to go away on these cruise lines and just see how the other half live. Yeah, but something that Keith never does is what? Is come back. Oh. He never gets to sit on the Planet Cruise cushions. <laughs> there you go, Keith Maynard, if you're watching. Hey, the Does four he? pillows <laughs> of, uh, yes, anyway. Um, they sought after those. But um, we're, we're going to move on to a, a wonderful cruise next with, of course, Princess. Yeah. Lovely places on this one. Uh, lovely places on this one. Lovely there's, there's a great opportunity that if you want to extend your cruise, and this is a great opportunity to, to talk about why Planet is so popular, is as and where we can, we like to tailor things to bespoke your package. So if you want to add on a, a, another three nights uh, or even five nights at the beginning, then you can do a land trip to one of the most beautiful temples, which is Angkor Wat, or you can go to Borneo uh, and have a chance to have a look at the orangutans and the monkeys. Wow. So, uh, so yeah. just ask the call centre about those. But uh, this starts off with a flight to Singapore and a stay for two nights mm. in a four-star hotel. Do I only got to stay a night in Singapore? No, I oh, thought I kind of missed out. You know? what? There is so much to see and do in Singapore. Singapore's great at night, by the way. Um, the shopping is to die for. The food markets are fantastic. Um, go down to Newtown. Uh, food market and go and see Linda. I know it sounds a bit strange, but the food market around there's about 37 stalls and you'll find Linda. Um, they do some of the greatest street food um, you'll ever see. Some great hotels. There's the Marina Bay as well, which is worth going to see. The only thing I would say is if you do go to the top of Marina Bay, you do pay a premium f uh, price for the drinks, but it's worth it. There's also a great shopping centre underneath. There's raffles as well. And, oh, what's the other place? I've forgotten it now. Um, uh, no, I'll, I'll come back to it later. Anyway, um, this is now what's really teeing you up for a great cruise holiday because Singapore, um, it, it, it really is one of those places that... Oh, by the way, I can't believe I've, I forgot to mention this. Uh, the Gardens by the Bay, if you get a chance to see it at night, is absolutely stunning. And there is one of those trees, yes, that is a tree with lights, um, that has got a rooftop bar. And I know I keep on talking about different bars to go to. It's got one of the best views back at the Marina Bay. You know, sometimes oh, when wow. you think, you know, why be in that hotel looking out at the rest of the city when you could be in another hotel looking up at the view? It's one of those uh, situations. I'd, I'd love to go back. I really yeah, would. So I would. I will be I later be... on this year. Oh, you lucky thing. Anyway. I find a bit cheating because only there one night. You get two nights in a four star hotel. You then, of course, Embark the Sapphire Princess yeah. for the most incredible seven night cruise. Let's just have a little look at it. I cruised with Princess the um, year before last and had such a great experience. Well, really you know, did. When, you, when you look at the facilities on board, I mean, you've, you've got usual theatres and lounges, you've also got the nightclub on there, Skywalkers, you've got the uh, uh, stars under the, uh, sorry, cinema under the stars outside with the uh, cinema screen. Um, but you've also got a fantastic range of uh, food eateries. You've got the international cafe that's there. Uh, you've also got Sabatini's uh, Italian Trattoria, uh, the Sterling Steakhouse, and also um, you've got the option to either have traditional fixed dining or any time dining as well. So uh, great opportunities for those that like a bit of flexibility. But on to our destinations, and we start off a nice relaxing day at sea and then continue it with another relaxing day at one of the most beautiful places in Thailand. We are talking Koh Samui. Now, this is the, can you believe it, this is Thailand's second most popular island. Um, it is an absolute island gem. There are temples to see, there are ruins, but let's just take a look at I mean, this. Yes. I was there uh, last year, and absolutely beautiful. Yeah. Do we even have to continue yeah. talking? You're so right, though. And then look at this. To, to be fair, that is what Thailand is. And to be fair, I can't wait to see it later on this year. Anyway, um, then we're off to Bangkok from tranquility to, uh, well, obscurity. This is one of the greatest cities on, on, on the actual face of the planet. I mean, if you look at Bangkok itself as, as in culture, you've got the great history, 
You've got the strip as well that if you want to go to some of the uh, the clubs, f some, sample some of the street food down there. I mean, the noodles. I mean, slurp up some of that hot spicy sauce. It's just going to be absolutely amazing. And some of the temples as well. Um, you, you, again, it's one of those tick lists. We were talking about the uh, Taj Mahal earlier on. Um, but the Grim Grand Palace is one to do. And also, by the way, Jim Thompson's house. Um, this guy's an absolute legend when it comes to uh, literature as well. And uh, it's a beautiful place. It's all made of teakwood. It's one of the largest mansions actually made of teakwood in the world. Anyway, relaxing day at sea, and then we're off to Vietnam. We're off to uh, Ho Chi Minh City. So if, uh, if you love, um, again, culture, you can go to Notre Dame Square if you want. Um, there are some great buildings, and again, it harks back, again, to dark times. But it's important to recognise the past because it is what is, is, is making us today. Of course, formerly known as Saigon. So, uh, yes, if you love your West End musicals, you can say you have spent uh, a night there. Then a nice relaxing day at sea uh, before you fly back to Singapore and round off your holiday. But again, remember, you can upgrade for a three-night stay at Angkor Wat, uh, which includes the night street food tours. That's just five four nine pound uh, per person. Uh, or you can upgrade to a five-night Borneo stay, um, which is including the Orangutan Sanctuary and the Sun Bear Conservation Sanctuary as well. Well, all the details of that. And don't forget this cruise also includes a two-night stay in a four-star hotel in Singapore uh, before you start your cruise. Those upgrades that Justin just mentioned and your return flights from London. Only a deposit needed tonight, by the way. And uh, definitely worth thinking about a balcony because the upgrades uh, start there. Uh, from mm. just £30 per person per night, of course, as well. Uh, now, this, still this, got this. a couple of cruises uh, to share with you. Uh, we're going to finish the show with the Oasis of the Seas with the Royal Caribbean. One of the largest ships. One of the largest, yeah. yes. But, but it's Norwegian Epic Next. And Norwegian Cruise Lines, they've recently gone all-inclusive, haven't they? A massive, massive thing for right. the cruise industry itself. Uh, and, yeah, it's, it's all-inclusive. So all of the NCL ships or Norwegian Cruise Lines um, and that's premium all inclusive, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. Really so, good. So, so this uh, it's, it's, it's changing the market, and, and this yeah. is why uh, these particular cruises are on this ship as well. Again, um, she yeah. is a fantastic ship when it comes yeah. to facilities. Do you know? I've always well, I've, I've seen I've been on so many cruises, and she's been been in dock. And yeah. I've looked at. I've always wanted to step yeah. on board. Yeah. Well, this is your chance to do. I know for uh, a great price. Should we go well. there right now? Well, I'd love to, but you know who got there first, don't you? Oh, no, it's yeah. not Keith and Glenn, Keith and Glenn, they got there first. Here they are. <laughs> if your idea of a cruise is dim lighting, string quartets, tuxedos and ballroom dancing, then prepare to be challenged, because this cruise line is so laid back, it's almost horizontal. Welcome to the most fun and relaxed cruise experience you're ever likely to encounter, where the entertainment never stops and the excitement just keeps on building. Welcome to Freestyle Cruising. Welcome to Norwegian Cruise Line. There's more restaurants than days of the week, and you can enjoy food from all over the world and dine and dress as you please. From trendy French bistros to steakhouses and sushi bars, Norwegian Cruise Line offers tons of choice. If you're a vegan, vegetarian, high carb, low carb, or gluten free, it's all covered. Remember, this is freestyle cruising, so wherever your mood and whatever the occasion, there'll be a bar that fits the bill with sports bars and whiskey bars, martini bars and champagne bars, our fresco bars and wine bars. Bars with music and bars with sport, even ice bars. One thing's for sure, you definitely won't go thirsty. Imagine playing Nintendo Wii on a two-storey high screen, or challenging a friend on the all-new Aqua Racer. Visualise eating world-class cuisine while acrobats tumble down on silks around your table, or simply enjoying a beer as comedians make you smile at dedicated comedy clubs. Picture yourself singing along as dueling pianos compete, or settling into your own seat for one of the Tony award-winning shows. Whether you're a single cruiser, holidaying with all the family, or planning a group cruise, you'll find something perfect for you. Norwegian Cruise Line offers one of the widest selections of accommodation in the industry. There are exclusive suites where you have your own private sun deck along with brilliant interjoining family staterooms that are cleverly located near all the kids' facilities. And balcony staterooms where you wake up to a different view every morning. But it's in the studio staterooms where Norwegian are head and shoulders above the competition. Yeah, that's our Keith and Glenn there. And now premium all-inclusive as well. Yeah. 
But the, 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 the only snag with this one is this is one that you have to book by the end of tomorrow oh, yes. to get your onboard spend because this $500 onboard spend that's available but only up until the end of the month, which is tomorrow. So book early. Uh, we are open tonight until 11 o'clock. So if you phone the number at the bottom of the screen, then uh, you'll be able to get it in. Um, and it, that's only on selected yeah, dates. So by we the should way. say up, up to $500 depending mm. on cabins and dates and yeah, things like that. Yeah. But it stops tomorrow. So yes. Be quick on this one. Anyway, uh, we're flying you over to Barcelona to start yeah, with, aren't we? Yeah, we, we've just been to Barcelona, yeah. just to remind you. Actually, let's talk about the Ramblers. We didn't get a chance to speak about the Ramblers. And it's one of the most great, one of the most fabulous destinations. Um, with, with Barcelona, you've just got to experience it. The food, the culture. Yeah. Um, and yeah, there's, there's some great tours that you can do, but if you've done it before, just, just sit back and, and relax. And we should say, although you only cruise out of there, but if you wanted to stay there for yes. nights, maybe before yeah, the yeah, cruise, yeah, definitely. again, that might be possible. Day at sea to explore this fabulous ship, and then Naples, isn't and it? And then on to Naples, yeah. Well, again, a big port for tours, so if you do want to book tours through Planet Cruise, you can do that. Uh, so uh, again, it just saves time when you get on board the ship and you know what you, you can plan. Uh, ahead a little bit. Uh, but let's crack on to a place that we didn't talk about earlier on, which um, is the port where you can go in inland uh, to Rome. And let's face it, some of the greatest um, places to go and see, the, the, the Roman Colosseum, it's just, you have to do it. Uh, also, St. Peter's Basilica as well, which is... Uh, what, what is crazy, sorry, just as I said, we are so close to Rome, and yet so many people have never been there, you know? Yeah, uh, and again, I would recommend booking a tour on that. You can yeah. do it yourself if you want to get on the train. Um, but I always think it just takes a little bit of stress and hassle out of it, knowing that there's going to be somebody there to pick you up, and they're going to wait, so you can always get back to the ship itself. Um, but uh, all I would say is you can do Rome in a day, so definitely go and do um, the Vatican City. Um, you never know. The, the Pope may be in residence, and I was, uh, you know, certainly lucky enough a couple of times when we were in Rome um, to actually experience that. Which, you know, not being a very religious person myself, uh, but very respectful, I was like, wow, what a great opportunity! So uh, go and see and do Rome. You'll you'll absolutely love it. But then the next day is another big day for tours because this is your chance to not visit one but two Italian destinations. Florence and Pisa, and this is the port of Livorno. Livorno itself is, is a fantastic port, again, great shopping, uh, uh, and there's, there's all the facilities you'd expect to see and do, but look at this skyline of Florence. The Ponte Vecchio Bridge as well. Go and buy some beautiful jewellery, or go and do what I did, and go across to see the Leaning Tower of Pisa. Um, and yes, you, you, you've, you've got to do the obligatory photo where it looks as if you're, you're holding it up itself. There's some great facilities here, by the way, and there's, there's some lovely little streets just to wander down. So it's not just go see, take a photo, and then off. You can spend a really good afternoon there. But then we move on. This is one of my favourite ports. I lo I'm loving the south of France at the moment, just want to tell you that. Absolutely loving it. Uh, Cannes, of course, the film festival's just finished. We just had the Monte Carlo Grand Prix as well. And uh, Cannes is one of those places. All I'd say is, yes, you're going to pay through the nose for drinks, but it will be served by a butler and it will be gorgeous. I mean, look at that. Just for one day, go ashore and just, just wear your linen trousers, wear a crisp white shirt, your nice sunglasses, and just go, yeah, I'll have a bottle of rosé. And just pretend, just pretend for a day. Um, and just, yeah, that you are literally on yeah. the red carpet. Yes, there Just thought I'd drop that in there. Uh, then we're going to go to Palma. Now, this is usually one of the embarkation, disembarkation ports. This is a destination on this cruise. And Palma itself is fantastic. You've got some great beaches. Um, you've also got great tapas as well. But if you want to explore some of the history, then why not take a trip, a nice tranquil trip, on the Tren de Soleur. And this is a vintage electric train. It's actually been running since the 1920s. So you can uh, just at a snail's pace. By the way, um, there's uh, a second smaller, La Ramblas, uh, which is actually in Palma. So if you miss it in Barcelona, you go and see and do it here. And of course, there's the cathedral as well. But then we're going to be heading off to Barcelona to disembark. This is your disembarkation port and then flying back to the UK. Well, let's just show you what's going to look. There's everything really on this one. It's all your tips, your gratuities, your premium all-inclusive drinks as well. So you do not have to worry about spending anything. And so we've got a lead price starting at £1,049 per person. So premium all inclusive. The drinks are really, really good on this one. Uh, gratuities, as I mentioned, are included. Um, it is a seven-day sale that ends tomorrow, and you will get up to $500. So either um, 
Call tonight or call before close of play tomorrow evening. And that's, uh, say, per statement on selected dates, up to $500. Return flights based on London Gatwick. And uh, the itineraries, they do differ slightly depending on the departure dates. Got loads of dates for you, actually. And do you know, they don't vary a lot, if you look there. Prices, you know, um, they, they vary very little. And actually, if you go for, we've got various dates in September, including the 24th of September, there's a free upgrade to a balcony, okay? So really great prices across the board. And the drinks package mm. is really good on this now, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, and I, I think, look, this is, this is what you've got to think about. If you're budgeting for a cruise and then you've got to add on the drinks that you're going to enjoy, um, then this takes it out. And this is also uh, service charges and gratuities included as well. And that drinks include spirits, uh, draft and bottled beers, wines by the glass, cocktails, mm. uh, alcohol-free beers as well, juices. Uh, so a massive selection uh, included in the price there right now. And then we have one more cruise to share with you tonight. And... Um, it's on one of the biggest ships in the world, the Oasis yeah. of the Seas. I was, um, I was on her sister ship uh, a, a couple of years ago, and I was a bit worried. I thought, oh, you know, this ship's going to be so big. How's mm. it going to be? I actually, I loved it. I loved it. It's, it's that big that it has a, a whole street that That's, runs yeah. down. It's like There's two that, ships put together, and yeah. in the middle, there is a thoroughfare, which is just like a, a modern high street. That it's you'd like expect. if you've been on a ship such as the Independence of the Seas, it's, uh, yeah, it's a similar length, but twice as wide. Yeah. 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 And, and you know the, um, the Royal Promenade? Some of you will know that already. It's, it's again similar to that, but it's all open air. Yeah, and there's lots of like outside bars and restaurants. Oh, it's amazing! It's, it really is. The, the entertainment as well is is absolutely stunning. Yeah, um, I uh, remember the, the, um, the yeah they, they have di- like, it's like an amphitheater at the back of the ship. They have divers literally yeah. jump down. Oh, it's incredible! It is. Anyway, um, this starts with a night in Orlando, doesn't it? Really unusual, this one. I've never actually been to Orlando. Been, been to, no, Florida, been to Florida, but never been to Orlando. Uh, which, uh, you know, for, for, for me, looking at it, I mean, the, the downtown sounds fantastic. I mean, if you want to head out uh, and do uh, something a little bit more adventurous, then I'd, I'd probably go to the Everglades, go on an airboat ride, yeah. uh, go and see Gentle Ben. Is it just me that remembers that? Um, anyway. Yeah. Um, <laughs> or you can go to uh, the wonderful theme parks that are over there. And again, that's something we can organise as well, so uh, please do give and, us a call. And honestly, great, great shopping, you know. So yeah. Really good shopping. What, Sawgrass Mills? Other just, shopping, sh- shopping centres are available. Yeah, they're, on a, they're just not quite as big. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so you've got your time in Orlando, uh, your, say, your, your night in Orlando, but then you invite one of the biggest ships in the world, the Oasis of the Seas. I've told you a little bit about her, but here's our lovely Gemma to tell you a wee bit more. Launched in 2009, the Oasis of the Seas and her sister ship, the Allure, are the largest cruise ships in the world. It's really hard to get across the scale of this ship, but if I just say that she's split into seven different neighbourhoods, then perhaps you can start to imagine. You could literally eat every day, three meals a day for an entire week and never repeat a venue. How amazing is that? So what do you fancy? Maybe dining under the stars at the Solarium Bistro, or perhaps some authentic Mexican at the new restaurant in Sabor de Caria. Or Asian specialities maybe at Azumi. Now there they've also got teppanyaki, which is where the chefs cut it all up in front of you, and incredible sushi as well. However, if you've got children, they may not fancy the sushi. So in that case, I would recommend Johnny Rockets. They've got all the family favourites, dancing waiters to boot. Right now, though, I'm just going to have a light snack. There is so much to do on board Oasis of the Seas. I honestly think you'd have to stay on this ship for about a month to get it all done. They've got an ice rink where they have spectacular shows in the evenings, and in the day, you can do free ice skating. They've even got their own comedy club. How cool is that? And they've got three theatres as well. They're always bringing shows from Broadway and the West End and they've got the Aqua Theatre. Now there, they've got two 18 metre diving balls and about 2,000 nozzles that spray water everywhere. And that's where you'll find the synchronised swimmers, the divers, the acrobats. Tom Daly, eat your heart out. So when it comes to booking your stateroom, there's a lot of choice. I'm in one of the staterooms with the balcony, um, but you might want to book a two-storey stateroom or perhaps a family suite. Now, they come with two bedrooms, two bathrooms and your own living room as well. 
There's also some really nice staterooms that come with wraparound balconies overlooking the aqua theatre, for instance. But there's a total of 43 grades of accommodation, so a lot of choice. One thing, though, that comes in every single room is an interactive flat screen TV. Really lovely for viewing, obviously, but also for keeping an eye on your bill and actually for booking shore excursions on and entertainment as well. Honestly, great, great ship. Isn't that just epic? Yeah. Really, Absolutely. honestly, and, and she, she's one of the largest. Now we've got obviously Harmony of the Seas, which is yeah. the largest. That's just since it's and been. And the filmed. one I was on, Sis Chip the Allure, is apparently a few feet longer. Oh, oh, all, all, all the difference, all the difference. <laughs> now you can actually reach another port from the further, from forward to the aft. Um, but so let's, let's, should we have a look at where we're yeah, going? Yeah, we better do. Yeah, we're going to get told off. We get get gas in. Um, now we're off to Haiti. Now this is this is actually a private resort. Um, and by the way, this is, when we say Royal Caribbean, they are the best cruise line for the Caribbean. Yes, In fact, this been, is award winning. Yes. This year, she is. Um, this is your beach resort. This is where you go ashore. Uh, just think of beach barbecues, jet skis, snorkeling, uh, sailing, kayaking. Um, they've also got uh, this fantastic, it's, it's like a roller coaster ride that you can, uh, you can literally go down. And they've and got the zip ride, don't they? Oh, I'd love to do this. I, I'll be honest, I, sh I didn't do this and I regretted it afterwards. Yeah. It's just, and just, just, just thing. I mean, and and to be to be fair, um, it only gets better than this because uh, you off, you're off to Jamaica, and uh, you can't get more Caribbean than Jamaica. You have got to go to Dun Rivers Fall. You have got yeah. to go on the uh, the Bob Marley tour as well, and just enjoy the reggae. I mean, come on, you you, you can't go to Jamaica and not hear those steel drums, uh, and just think of well cocktails. Just in, enjoy your time in Jamaica. Then you've got a nice relaxing day at sea, and then we're off to Mexico. We're off to Cozumel and this beautiful island resort itself. Um, I've got happy memories of this quayside. You can, you can actually get a little um, uh, bicycle taxi um, along the end of the quayside. I thought it was so indulgent, I, was, I, I had to do it. You can go and do uh, all of your swimming with dolphins here, this great market. You can go a little bit further afield if you want to do something historical, and you can go to the Mayan ruins as well, where they sacrificed um, on board the temples. Um, but uh, let's not go there. Um, you'll have a great time. Let's, 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 but the, one of the reasons why Royal Caribbean is probably one of the best um, uh, cruise lines to go with, there's just so much that you can go and see and do that. I mean, the I mean, list that I've got here, Ocean View Cabanas, you've got wave jet tours, parasailing, snorkeling, aqua parks. Um, you've got Dragon's Breath Flight Line, which is the zip line that we just saw. And that's a private resort that is owned and run by Royal Caribbean. I, that's why they're best in the Caribbean. I, I couldn't imagine a single person coming back from that cruise saying, there wasn't a lot to do. You know, there's so much to do, just on know, the ship alone. Just, I know, uh, it's just difficult to choose, uh, whether it's pina colada or, or <laughs> which, which, which one. Uh, massive choice of restaurants and bars and outdoor spaces, but let's just remind you what's included. I mean, bear in mind you've got return flights here. That's a really good deal, isn't yeah. it? You know, think, yeah, yeah, sorry, Virgin flights. Yeah, Virgin yeah. flights yeah. as well. So think about what they'd cost. You, um, you do get a choice of direct flights from London or Manchester. So Gatwick or Manchester on that one. Regional flights are available at Supplement and you also get that uh, night stay in Orlando as well. And price-wise, we've got prices starting at 979. Really worth going for upgrades there. They've got ocean views and balconies and suites. Did you say they were voted the best cruise line for the Caribbean? Yes, yeah, and, and, and that was the 2017. Year. And by the way, one of the reasons being is the water in the tropical Caribbean sea hits a blissful 27 degrees. So, oh, very good. good. Now, we'd, uh, we'd love to meet you. We really would. And we every year, we have a Planet Cruise holiday show. I'm gonna be there. And the whole team are, aren't they, just in? The whole team? Yes. No, no, I'm, I, no, no unfortunately, there well, is not space busy. for me. you were busy. You were busy. But there anyway. There is no space for me. We'll have a picture of you. But <laughs> we're cardboard. <laughs> uh, but I'd anyway. Get a cardboard cutout and we, take Yes, them. we'll get a cardboard cutout of Justin. But I'll tell you what, it's at the Amex Stadium in Brighton. Join us at 9.30. We're going to be there from 9.30 till 3. And I'd love to meet you. I'm going to be there. You can see how short I am in my life, OK? And how red my beard is. You can meet me in real life. Yeah. And we'll see, we'll have a cardboard cutout. And now Keith Maynard's tops are really that tight. Yeah. I say, go. we'll have a cutout of Justin. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, we, uh, we are nearly out of time. So here's a quick recap of everything that we've had on the show. Brilliant deals today. We started off with, of course, P&O on board the uh, Oceana. 
Great seven night Italy and Croatia and Malta cruise starting at 689 on that one. Some great upgrades to an outside from £15 per person per night. Ruth joined us with, I think, one of the best deals we've ever had from Celebrity. She's just come out of Dry Dock. She's the Celebrity Constellation. That's the ship that is, obviously, not Ruth. <laughs> of course, <laughs> sure, sure. <laughs> I'm not drinking, no, I'll have a glass of wine. Behave you. 899 is the price of this one, but really worth upgrading uh, to an ocean view and getting the free classic drinks package. We then had an amazing deal also from Thompson on board the Thompson Majesty. 779, 12 nights, Spain, Italy, Corsica, Sicily, Malta from Mallorca there as well. Um, and uh, if you want to upgrade, we have got all inclusive starting from only £10 per person per night. Um, there's always a bit of a, you know, surge for that and it will be limited availability. So if you do want that all-inclusive drinks package, give us a call sooner rather than later and a great single price there as well. Then we moved on to Princess on board the Safar Princess. Your chance of seeing Vietnam and Thailand with an extra stay in Singapore. Four night, sorry, four uh, star hotel there for two night stay at 1299. And then... Norwegian Cruise Lines, they are now all-inclusive, premium all-inclusive. So that's uh, great drinks, all of your tips and gratuities, and a fantastic price, just over £1,000. If you are booked before tomorrow, you can get up to $500 on board spend, depending on your stateroom. And then finally, last but by no means least, one of the biggest and most exciting ships in the world, the Oasis of the Seas. And it's a, a nine-night Western Caribbean cruise from Orlando there with an extra night in Orlando pre-cruise. And direct Virgin flights from London Gatwick or Manchester. Justin, fantastic show. We've had something for everybody tonight. And if, the, if you haven't seen what you like, give us a call. Yeah. Uh, we're open until 11 o'clock tonight and it's yep. 8.30 tomorrow morning. Yep. Justin, we'll see you back next week or is it the week no, after? No, I'm away I'm about three weeks' time. <laughs> well, we'll see him in three weeks. Listen. Tough at the top. <laughs> <laughs> it is. So it's trapping. That's his trouble. We'll see you very soon. I'll see you next week on, of course, Planning Planet.